Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be making this three-piece wall art today. I'll leave a complete list of all the items that I use in my description box below, and I will point them out as I'm using them. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so I have two 16 by 20 inch canvases, and later on in the video, I'll be gluing them together. But first, I'm going to paint them. And I've got this pink tourmaline, Craftsmart, and I'm going to paint both of my canvases with this. Okay, so a slight change of plans. I've decided that for this canvas here, the canvas that I'm going to have up top, I'm going to paint it in pink blush pearl, Craftsmart, it's a metallic, but I do want the edges, the sides, and then a little bit on the front to be the tourmaline because when I go to put my mini mirror tiles on. I'm going to bring them in slightly. So I'm going to tape it off for now. My tiles, I'm going to bring them in about this far. So I'm just going to tape it off enough to cover this rounded edge. probably going to have some clumps in this paint. I've had it open for quite some time. I don't even remember the last time I used it. Probably going to need about three coats to cover this tourmaline. Okay, so I stopped at three coats of the uh, pink blush pearl because I can see a little bit of that tourmaline poking through and I absolutely love the look of that. So now what I want to do is add another coat of the tourmaline around the front here, the sides, and then as well as this one. Just going to put a little bit on my plate and the best way to do the edges is with a foam brush And for this one, I'm just going to come in around the same amount. Okay, so the paint is all dry on my canvases. And before I glue this one on top of this one, I'm going to add my gold mini mirror tiles to this one because I'm going to have to apply a little bit of pressure when I press them down. I'm not going to add my mini mirror tiles onto this one until this one is glued on here and then I know exactly where I need to put the tiles. 
So I'm going to use my gold mini mirror tiles. I get mine from my local Dollarama, but you can get them off of Amazon. And they're really easy to work with. You just bend them and score them. And I'm going to do a frame of three rows. And before I put them down, I'm going to cut them all out so that I can get a nice tight fit all the way around. Now when I bring my tiles in from the edges, I can always make them fit so that there's no gaps because I can move them around a little bit, right? Like if I had to move them over to the side this way or up a bit. But the thing about it is, it's like a puzzle. I'm gonna have to remove them and put them back on the exact same way that they're sitting on here. Now these tiles that I get from Dollarama, they have a really good sticky backing on them, but sometimes I do put some extra glue on them just for some extra staying power. Okay, and I'm not going to press them down yet in case um, I have to ship them around a little bit with a uh, craft stick. Just going to kind of place them here without pressing them down. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I can take a soft cloth and press these down. There, just like so. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this canvas onto this one. And I've just got a couple of wooden rounds because I need to hold this one up. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. Just going to prop those up there. You can find anything, like if you do something like this, anything that you can just hold this canvas up. Now the only place that I need to measure is from this corner to this edge and then right here to this corner. And then I know that it's fairly straight. Okay, so that's about eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters. Okay, and then when I go to put my tiles on here, that's going to be the perfect width so there aren't any gaps there might be one down here but that's okay I'm going to be loading this up with crushed glass and glitter anyway so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pencil mark not all the way up here just about where my tiles are going to be so that any of this pencil mark will be camouflaged.
because when I lift this up, obviously I want to put it back into the same spot. Now these canvases, they're, they're quite wide, the frame on the back. And I'm going to take some clear E6000. I didn't have this on my last video. I, I thought I was out of it, so I ended up using the white, but I just found this, so that's good. Now I'm going to come on the inside all the way up here. And I know that the frame on that other canvas is going to hit this glue. I'm doing it on this one because I don't want more glue on the back of that canvas than I need. And I've got my hot glue gun because I want to keep working. I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue like so. Take this one and I'm going to follow that pencil mark. And then the hot glue will also help anchor it down while the E6000 is drying. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and frame out this canvas. Do the same, just cut out my tiles. Perfect, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my mini mirror tiles and then I'll bring you back. Okay, my canvas is all framed out and I'm absolutely loving the color of this. It's just beautiful. And now I'm going to add my crushed glass and glitter. And I've got my gold crushed filler glass, Ashland brand from Michaels. My glitters, this is raspberry extra fine glitter recollections. This is gold ore, it's a chunky recollections. And this is a new one, this is called pink rose. It's a specialty glitter. It's very, very pretty. And I'm going to be adhering everything with my Triart liquid glass. And I just have it in a squeeze bottle here. This would be the perfect project though. You could use a clear Elmer's glue. Now the gold crushed filler glass, why I wanted this whole thing painted, you can see through the gold crushed filler glass, like the color pokes through. And when I do my reveal, I'll show you. So I'm just going to take my Triart liquid glass. Have a little foam brush here and I'm going to push it up to my tiles. This is also going to strengthen where I've got the two canvases glued together. Okay, I'm going to take my glass.
in and I'm going to take my pink rose this is like a confetti glitter And then my gold ore. I just want to make sure that I always have enough liquid glass exposed for all of my glitters. And then my extra fine raspberry. Okay, so for this canvas, I'm going to have to do this in two steps. So after I add my crushed glass and glitter and I let it dry and brush it off, I have to come back in and I'm going to add more glitter onto this canvas and you'll see that later on in the video. So what I'm going to do is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do because of what I'm going to end up doing after. Just coming up, I was just coming up with some peaks and coming down. This isn't going to be my icicles. It's going to be um, thicker. I'm hoping my liquid glass won't fill these gaps up. They will a little bit as my liquid glass settles, but that's okay. So now I'm going to take my crushed glass. to take my pink rose again. My gold ore. And then finish off with my raspberry. Pink. 
Angus is whining at my feet. Okay, I'm going to let this completely dry, bring it back, we'll brush it off, and then I'll move on to the next step with my glitter. I have been so looking forward to brushing this off. <laughs> and rather than just brushing it into my bucket, I'm going to just brush some of it down onto my canvas here. I like brushing these off into a big bucket because I don't like the glass flying. I'm a little obsessed with vacuuming, but I uh, rather these little chunks of glass not get on my floor. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick vacuum with soft brush on my vacuum cleaner and then I'll bring you back and we'll add a little bit more glitter onto this canvas here. Okay, so now I'm going to do some detailing and I've got my liquid glass in a smaller squeeze bottle. It has like a needle nose tip. So right now I'm going to outline these peaks and valleys, but for some of them I'm going to come down. Okay, now I'm going to start coming down. I'm going to take a small craft brush and just form these into some peaks. Just like so. Now this one is kind of thinning out here, so before it dries, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the extra fine gold Now this is my chunky gold ore. Okay, and then I'm going to finish this section off with the extra fine gold. I'm going to come down over on this side. And then I'm going to do the same up top. to 
bring this up a little bit here. Extra fine. Okay, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Just going to brush the glitter away from these little spaces here. Now I'm going to fill these spaces completely with more liquid glass. I'm just going to use the extra fine raspberry in these. I want there to be a contrast in these centers from everything else. I was going to add some of the specialty glitter, but I want there to be a contrast. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. Oh, my goodness, you guys. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. This color combination is so rich. And yes, I did add an extra canvas. I didn't show it on camera because I did it the exact same way as the bottom one, but it's a smaller canvas. It's an 11 by 14 inch. And I did it for two reasons. It balances this whole piece off and it also gives that top canvas some stability. Bring you in nice and close here. And I had mentioned earlier on in the video about painting this whole canvas in the pink tourmaline because with the gold crushed filler glass, you can see the color poking through some of the pieces. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. And I love the effect of outlining it in the gold. I'm going to have to do more of these in different colors. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It feeds the algorithm and it lets me know that you enjoy this type of a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.